So I've done the draft for the letter. Go through and see if there's anything you want to correct. Sure. Uh... Yep, seems okay. Go ahead with it. All right. Okay. Don't forget to call your mother. Huh. You are such an angel. She would have killed me if I didn't call her. What would I do with Elsie? How you doing? I'm so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I've been so busy. Yeah. I've been really busy. I I, I know. I know. Listen. Um, regarding Abuja, I have it. I'm traveling the day before to Abuja for a meeting, so I may not be able to come to there. Yeah. So you guys will have to come down alone. Oh, and there's someone I would like you to meet. Well, but she's very beautiful. I'm very, very intelligent. Mom, I'm really serious this time. Yes. I don't know when. I don't know the time yet, but we'll see, Sha. Uh, Mom, I have a business call on the other line. It's really important. Yeah, I'll call you back. All right. Love you too. Bye. Hello? Ah, the chairman himself. Yes. Yeah, it's um, a party of my my benefits. That's the fifth year anniversary. No, the fifth year anniversary of my being the CEO of the company. At the same time, end of your party. I will accept nothing less. Yes. So I'll see you there then. Okay. All right then. See ya. Bye. Chan Chan. Did Greg tell you about his girlfriend? Greg? <laughs> Which girlfriend? I don't know, but he said um, that he invited someone to his party in Lagos, that she stays here in Abuja. Oh. So that means he has been sneaking away to go see some girl because I don't think I've seen him with any other girl after Sandra. I hope she's nice and funny. Heaven knows my prayer for your brother is for him to get married and give me at least one grandchild. I met you to marry and give me one grandchild. <laughs> Mom, I love the prayer. You have to be ready for marriage first, don't you think so, Chacha? Who says I'm not ready? Are you? When you keep chasing away good men like Philip, with your crazy behavior and um, hot-headedness. Mom, please. It's not as if Philip was perfect. Yeah. No one is perfect. But, come to think of it, aren't you praying for your brother in the U.S. to get married first? He's a senior, huh? Charles. Mom, there's no seniority in this matter. Who knows, I might even get married before Greg. It's possible if you walk towards it. But Chacha, with the way you dress and act, it will take divine intervention for any man to get close to you. Mom, you are going to see the man I will bring home to you. Even you will be green with envy. That's not so. Hmm. I can't believe this. That Greg has a new girlfriend and hasn't coughed about it to me. <laughs> to 
thing. He used to tell me everything. <laughs> and they won't give him the gossip now. handsome. I mean, come on, I can't even allow an ugly man to touch me with a pole. In fact, it's the same for an ugly man to chase after me. Trust me. Now, come on, Vivian. It's not such a terrible thing to be ugly. God created all. The good, the handsome, the bad, and the ugly. Well, for me it is. I mean, he has to be handsome, okay? That's the first thing on my list, okay? And then we, um, now check out the Educational background and family name, which comes second. And then the family background and financial status. I just want to be associated with some old money, not a nouveau rich guy. You can get real. Okay. Oh. Mm. You know, I'm actually confused about which one comes first. Let me see. I'm thinking financial status <clears throat> or family background. Anyway. Whichever one it is, class is of utmost importance. Of all the things you've mentioned, I haven't heard you say love. I mean, what if this guy's got everything you want and you don't love him? What would you do? He's got everything I need? Of course I'm already in love with him. What is your definition of love anyway? Well, mine is all of these qualities rolled into one. <laughs> Man, he has my everlasting love. I mean, like the songwriter says. No romance with the finance. <laughs> I mean, take a look at my Greg, for instance. I'm so crazy about him because he's so rich and classy. You're really funny. You certainly do have a warped sense of love. Oh, whatever. Listen, girlfriend. Love is unconditional. It's selfless. Money has got absolutely nothing to do with it. Yeah. I mean, money doesn't mean anything to me if you ask me. Yeah. Are you kidding me? No. You are talking absolute crap. <coughs> Money has everything to do with love. Oh. Listen, you are from a wealthy background. Of course you've got a family name to protect. So don't end up with some gold digger all in the name of love. Such type of unions end up tragic, trust me. There is no relationship between light and darkness, okay? I mean, we are rich, so we must naturally stick to the rich. That is the only way our family name will continue to, to grow and grow and grow. So do not follow any poverty-stricken idiot with an equal poverty-stricken mentality. Don't go. I hear you. Thank you so much. Greg. Hi, honey. Hi. Oh, I miss you too. Yeah. Are you coming to the airport to pick me up on Friday? No? Oh, really? Your mom or your sister? Oh, no, no, of course it's okay. It's okay, yeah. I mean, it's alright. Okay then, take care of you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> oh my god! You know, you know what I suspect? Mm -hmm. I think I was get married to me, but he hasn't said anything yet. Too. Really? He hasn't. And he wants me to come with his mother and his sister to Lagos. For real? He wants to make a grand proposal? And I think he wants to propose to me in the presence of his family! Oh my god! Oh my god! Give him a Oh my god! Oh, good evening. Yes. You're back. Uh, yes, yes. I I thought you were leaving for Lagos tonight. Yeah. Uncle Fo, yeah. I haven't been able to get enough money for my transfer fare. Well, we can find that out now. Let me see your plan. Uh, Uncle, no, no. Please, I'm not ready for this, your plan reading business. I don't want to know what the future holds. What's wrong with you, Vivian? You young ladies of today are so stubborn. Hey? Don't you know it is very important to know what the future holds? You have to do find this about anything you want to do. After all, God did not give me the talent of reading palms for nothing. It is to help people like you not to go about making mistakes. Uncle, please now stop. Let's not go into this palm reading story all over again. 
I believe God knows the future. God is the only one that knows the future. But it's the same God that gave me the gift. It is good for you to know whether relocating to Lagos is the right thing for you to do. And Abuja is not a bad place for you to start life. Besides, you have me and your aunt here. Well, Uncle, it's too late. I've already resigned. I mean, I'm determined to move to Lagos. In that case, Vivian, I have to be your palm. Oh, you stop it. To know whether tragedy awaits you or not. I have never failed at reading palms. Uncle, I am not interested in palm reading. Well, suit yourself. If you know that things won't be easy or work out well, would you still go? Well, if God tells me that things won't work out, I won't. By the way, what makes you think that things won't work out for me? Or that my future won't be bright? I don't have a cause in my head. Besides, I believe that with hard work and God by my side, I will make it. I don't need palm reading or fortune telling for me to know things about my life, things that would end up complicating my life. Well, like I said before, it is the same God that gave me the gift. No, so for the last time, please, I'm not interested. Well, if you change your mind, Lovely things. Pets! We're definitely torn at that party. Well, bring them out. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I hope they are decent enough because I wouldn't like to wear any nonsense to that party. I got two lovely gowns just in case I couldn't decide which was finest. And lovely heels to go, of course. Jesus. Surely. What is this? You're definitely not going to wear this to that hat. Mom. It doesn't have hands. Mom, please, don't be old-fashioned. This is what is in the book. I mean, if you want some perfect shoulders doesn't hurt, I have to show them what my mama gave me. Well, your mama did not give you indecent exposure. Your mama props you up so well. So if you decide to wear this, you're definitely going to cover it up with a shawl. Do you understand me? No. I'm not a little girl anymore. I mean, Greg. Hi, big girl. What a one. Sure. Okay. Hold on a sec. Let me get a pen, all right? How is the preparation going? Yeah, I'm fine, Mom. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm fine, and you? I'm great. Yeah, actually, I'm calling, um, I just called to give Chacha the address and where to pick Vivienne on Friday. I hope so. <laughs> you love her, Mom. If you're serious with this one, I guess I don't have a choice than to like her. Don't worry, you like her. I told her I left the tickets with you, so um, you guys will come down together. Yes, baby. Mom. Mom? She's staying in my room this time around. In your room? I just want to tell you now. Never. Greg, never. How could you say a thing like that? Have you married her yet? Mom, we're living in the Jets ages now. I mean, those, those rules don't apply anymore. Anyway, let's not talk about it now. We will discuss it more when we get there. Of course you trust your mom. I will not let any girl sleep in your room until you get married to her. Okay. Talk to your sister. Hello, girl. Name and address? Okay. Lillian. Vivian. Sorry, I thought you said Lillian. I did not say Lillian, I said Vivian. Vivian. Okay. Okay. 35. 
for Habubaka. Chacha, you better listen to me well. Oh. That's for Habubaka Road. No, you need to sit down on me. Oh, that is so. Are you listening to me? Yeah, no problem. No problem. Yes, that's for Habubaka Road. I better get there on time because she's expecting you to get there for 11. Just tell her to be ready, okay? I'll pick her up. Okay. Alright. Bye bye. No. I have to wear this for you to understand what I'm talking about. Yes. Okay. Anyway, I need to say. Have you called your uncle Peter? Does he know you're coming in tomorrow morning? Um, yes, I called him like a week ago. But I've not been able to get through to him since then. I'm sure he knows I'm coming in by weekend. Hey, that reminds me, I need to get a ticket before it gets late. Please, eh? Be careful in Lagos, eh? Keep yourself. God will sort out a job for you. But I'm pretty much sure your uncle must have already prepared something for you. Auntie, my uncle is a big shot. Honestly. Do you know he even promised giving me a job in his own company? Yes. I'm not bothered about my job because I know it's certain I'm going to get a good job. Well, thank God. I'm just glad your mother had good brothers and sisters. Eh? Though you won't let your uncle read your palm. But I can tell that success awaits you in Lagos. Things will definitely work out well. Hey, Auntie. You people and this your palm reading. Hey, slow down, no. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Uncle, okay, you want to read my palm, Avi? Okay, come on, read. That's better. That's better. You are a very sensible girl. Right? Mm. Let me see. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I see you having a free trip to Lagos. Yes. Free trip? Yes. <laughs> How? Free and exciting trip to Lagos. It is not going to be a dangerous one. It is going to be a good one. Yes. Oh, Uncle, stop! <laughs> what kind of free trip is that? Have you forgotten how long it took me to be able to get enough money to buy a night bus ticket? You're talking about free trip. <laughs> free trip, call, free trip, me. Uncle, please, oh, Auntie, mm -hmm. you better tell Uncle, oh. let him look for another hobby because this palm reading thing, hmm, it's not taking us anywhere. In fact, it's getting too much. Okay. I'm going to come back here. So you look at my palm and you tell me the kind of job I'll get in Lagos. Um, is this 34 Habubaka? Uh-huh, this is 34. Oh. Are you looking for someone? Yes, uh, Miss Vivian, do you know her? 
I'm Vivian. I thought so. I like you already. Excuse me, I I don't know you. Oh, that. Um, uh, Greg said to pick you up. I'm his sister. So you have to hurry because the flight is um 12:45. I hope you're packed. Flight? Yes. Flight to Lagos, of course. I mean, it's the only flight left today, and it's just at 12:45. So we really have to hurry. <laughs> Look. I don't quite get what you're saying. <laughs> you look like you forgot something. Anyway, let's hurry in. I'll help you pack up if you're not packed yet. I mean, it beats me why Greg forgot to mention me. I mean, if he's to run errands, he remembers to call me. <laughs> not that I'm complaining, you know. I mean, Greg is the best brother any girl could possibly ask for. <laughs> Someone that listens to me when I sing. Girl, if you hear me sing. Do you sing? You should sing with a voice, with a face like. Oh, you should oh just stop. Uh, what did you say your name is again? Oh, my manners. My name is Charlene, but everyone calls me Cha Cha. Oh, Cha Cha. Can you give me three minutes? No problem. Let me lock up the car. What is the matter? Ah, what is it, Vivian? Uh, Uncle, you know, you, you said something to me about, you know, when you looked uh, looked at my palms, you said something about. Uh, oh, I said you have a good. Of course, she remembers what I said. Has my prediction come true? Uncle, how could you look into my palms and tell me something you couldn't possibly have known? And now someone is out there mistaking me for someone else, telling me that uh, a flight has already been booked for me for twelve forty-five uh, or, or something. A flight to Lagos. I don't know what. I know your uncle has a gift, eh? but this isn't funny at all. What's going on here? Honestly, I, in fact, that's what I intend to find out. Chacha, uh, uh, sorry. What did you say was that address your brother gave you? Um, Vivian, you're acting funny. Don't you want to go anymore? Have you oh, changed your mind? No, no, not at all. You know, it's just that uh, I just want to confirm some things. So tell me. 34 Habubaka. 34 Habubaka. Road or street? Gosh, isn't it the same thing? No. Is there a problem? No, not at all. You know, my uncle actually when I meet you, can you give me three minutes? Okay. Because right now she doesn't know there's another Abubaka road. There must be another Vivian there. Well, I don't know what to do. Do I tell her that she has the wrong person? Or do I go ahead and follow her? Go with her and do what? Eh? How could you even think of that? Now you go out there and you tell her she has the wrong person. Uncle, what do you think? I think you should follow your heart. Do what you think you should do.
Well, I think, I think I, I'll either go by road or maybe I should just, you know, just pack my bags and, and go with her. Eh, yeah. pack your bags and go with her. Okay. Well, somewhere along the line, they find out that you're masquerading to be somebody else. Then what happens? Well, I... You see, when I looked at your palm, what I saw was a free trip to Lagos, not an attempt at a free trip. We are not asking you to take the chance. You have to decide that for yourself. It's the cloud, no the moon, or oh, the sun comes up too soon. Something's going on that I cannot keep my cool. Oh, the tears in my eyes, and I hope I wouldn't go blind. I must be in a trance, floating in the wind. Wake me up from the sleep. I think it must be but a dream. I can't explain it, confusing as it seems. It's the chance, is it wise? Will it kill my innocence? Life's a journey and life is on. How come you're so quiet? Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm fine. Come on. I want you to always be free when you're with me. Okay. Let's just. Um, how long have you and my brother been dating each other? For, 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 for a while now. I know that. Like six months, three months, a month. How long? For, for a long time. Yeah. It's over a month, right? Uh, see, your brother might not, you know, like me discussing this with you. Come on! Greg tells me everything. Even though I don't, I don't understand why he kept you a secret. But, I think I like what I see. And I'm sure my mom will just love me. Somehow, I think this time around, Greg actually made it right choice. Right. Don't worry, I'm sure she will like you. Come on. I'm free have to come out of the car. Oh, you're here already? Yes. yes. Is this Vivian? Yes. Isn't she cute? But <laughs> well, she's a little bit shy. Oh my dear, how are you? Oh, you? Come, 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 come. You're oh, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll chit chat in the car. No, 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 no. Five minutes will not kill us. My dear, come and see where I live. <laughs> Mom, it's a long drive to the airport. I know, just five minutes. Yeah, just tell us, Greg. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Are they there yet? They're not? Oh, what is wrong with Charlene now? Yeah, I, I... I gave her the ticket. And she's supposed to be there by now. 
Don't worry, she'll soon be there. Yeah. But just call me as soon as she gets there, okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm on my way to Ibadan for a meeting. So if I'm not back today, I'll be back first thing tomorrow morning. She cannot wait to see you either. Neither can I. Alright then. Bye bye. This is no way to treat a potential sister-in-law to be. I'm getting pissed. Damn. Coffee. Coffee. Yes, madam. Now listen to me. I'm expecting some people. As soon as they arrive, please do let me know. Yes, madam. Right, right. <laughs> I'm sure he wants to know if you've been picked. Hello, big bro. <laughs> Don't you trust me? Yeah, she's right here. Vivian, Greg wants to talk to you. You need some water. Let me get you some water, okay? No, I'm, I'm fine. <coughs> yes, I said she's joking. <coughs> no, no, no problem. Mom is attending to her. <coughs> You're sure you don't need water? No, I'm, I'm fine now. Sure, we are at all, huh? <laughs> okay, see you then. Thank you very much. <coughs> me up from the sleep I think it must be but a dream I can't explain it confusing as it seems it's the chance is it wise will it kill my innocence life's a journey and life is only Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Good morning, sir. Sorry about the delay. I was caught in traffic here in Ibado, and I thought that was the exclusive right of us negotiators. Well, um, we'll start now, but uh, before we start, could I ask everyone to please switch their mobile phones off? Given the delicacy of our meeting, I appreciate we don't force any distractions at all. Okay? Right. Down to. Now to matters at hand, we are here to discuss the annual report for the year, given the fact that we have our 50th anniversary party at the end of the year, as well as the annual party, we have to have something to show for it. I can't believe this. Oh, I hate this. Well, they better have a good explanation for keeping me waiting like this. 
how can, how can, how can, how can I wait all day here doing nothing? some really important calls. You can't have my phone. Sorry. Hey! Tell you listen to me. I've got you that phone, okay? I am not asking you to give me the phone. I'm ordering you to give it to me. Now! No way, babe! I said I'm expecting some really important calls. And my friends don't have the landline anyway. Stupid calls that is more important than you're what I'm going for. Give me the damn phone! I'll give it to you as, as soon as I get back. It seems you didn't hear me clearly, Vivian. I said I'm expecting some really important calls. Why don't you take a juice phone or something? She can't take it because I lost it last week. Why are you always making the fuss with a stupid phone anyway? Just a little and take it, Jerry. Don't mind her. Would you? Will you shut up? Who invited you into this conversation? Don't tell me to shut up, Sharon. Why couldn't you give this to live in your phone for a few days? Didn't she buy it for you? You're so selfish. Would you? If you call me selfish, I'm going to slap you. How dare you insult me? You insult her sister Vivian first. You beated you and I when we stand up to you. You talk to Sister Vivian anyhow, I expect her not to do anything. Would you and Steph keep yourself out of what does not concern you? And Sister Vivian, how do you expect me to survive without my phone for days? I need it too, but I need it more now. Get me this out for! Get it. This is important for me to take it whenever you want. Whatever. Classic. Now Dad has to buy me a new phone when he gets back from New York. That's the lantern over there so you can always manage it, okay? Uh, Linda, is there a credit on this stuff? I'll get my credit when you return my phone. Whatever. I don't have this... the number. There. Yeah, this car. Steph? Yeah, please go to my room and fetch me my bag, please. No, 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 no. There it is. It's over there, on top of the dining table. Can you look for the card quietly? We're trying to watch TV here. Will you shut up, Sharon? Shut up! I knew I had it somewhere in the bag. Right, 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 right. What? They said you have some number on it. I don't want the office number. I want them. GSM number. Oh my god. Why don't you call the office number and ask for his GSM number? Uh. 
huh, that's a good idea. That's the most sensible thing you said to me today. There is no need to be rude to me. That won't help you at all. If truly you're his girlfriend, which I have no way of confirming, how come you don't have his number by heart? Because I don't, okay? And who says I'm supposed to give his number to any Jack, Jill, or Janet? Don't be a smart ass woman. Look, Miss, whoever you call yourself, I don't know you. It could be anybody, and my boss will not like it if I give his number to everyone. Well, he certainly would be happy with you if I miss the party. I'm sorry. Guess rude to me. Why can't you just use a loud phone? Look, I'm using Sharon's phone for now, so don't bother calling her for the next one week.
Oh, well, Vivian, you are welcome to my son's house. Thank you. I want to do that officially since he's not here to do it, okay? I'll do everything for you to be very comfortable. Jaja, take her things to the guest room. Um, no, no, um, please let my bag be here for a while. I'll, I'll personally take it upstairs. <laughs> Vivian, yeah. you know what I like about you most? Your humility. You are well mannered. Frankly speaking, amongst all the other girls my son brings here, I think you are the only one I'm going to get very comfortable with. Uh, how old are you? Um, I'm, I'm 26, man. Wow. That's my age too. You know, I told you we are going to the best of friends. But let's go upstairs. I want to show you what I plan to wear tomorrow night. Every eyes will be on Moa. <laughs> Yours truly is planning to look beautiful tomorrow. Come, let me catch you. Uh, uh, not so fast, Chacha. Not so fast. Why don't you get us something to eat? Oh, uh, better Still. Vivian, you can fix something for us to eat. Ma, just go to the kitchen. Whatever you can lay your hands on, we eat. Um, uh, you know, it's just that I don't... It's okay. Yeah, I just want you to feel at home. Don't be nervous because I'm around. Go, go, go. I'm getting hungry. Chacha, take her to the room first. Let her change. No, no, she's she's very nervous. So, Chacha, tell me. Tell me more about your brother Gregor. As in, describe his character? Yes. You should know his character. I mean, he's your guy. Now, tell me. It's my brother, Gundy. From Offit. Is he a good lover? Chacha, how could he ask me such a thing? Come on, don't be shy. I told you, you can tell me anything. We're going to be good friends. In fact, I declare best of friends. So, still the beam. Judge I I can't discuss this with you, you know. I I don't know your brother so well. You mean as in like, you know, as I ought to know him. I'm, you know. Oh, oh. You guys haven't slept together yet. Oh my god. That means he respects you. Because we're collecting Greg. My brother knows they waste time for such matters. Oh. How long is it that you said? Could I have been dating? something else? <laughs> like, I'm sure there are lots of other things okay. we could talk about. Okay, I get it. You're really shy. I'm not. I think Greg has found a gem this time. Don't let me intimidate you, okay? Or else we'll just use it for a doormat. I heard you. Like I said, change topic. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll do. This is great. Vivian, you're such a good cook. How did you know I didn't cook it more? You? I know you are a disaster in the kitchen. That was why I asked her to prepare something for us to eat. So, my dear, what did you put in the food? Are you okay? <sighs> yes, uh. I'm sorry, Ma. I was, I was. I was thinking of. Greg, of course. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm. Um, my, my uncle. 
I really have to go go to my uncle's place so I could, you know, drop off my things. You are not just a respectful girl, but a well brought up one at that. I like that. Hmm. But this your uncle. Wouldn't he want you to get married someday? Ma, no, I promise I'll come back. <sighs> I don't know how we're going to do that because um, <clears throat> my son said we shouldn't let you wander around Lagos because you don't know your way. We'll get you a car that will take you to your uncle's, okay? What you'll do is to call him and tell him that you'll be seeing him later on. Yeah, you can use my phone. Not getting through? No. That's what problem I presume. You see why you shouldn't rush off to your uncle's? Seriously, Viv. Chill out about your uncle for now. Let's just hurry with the food. Because I like to show you my two dresses. So you can help me choose more. The way you are going about this, one would think you are the one having the party and not your brother. Please let her just take it easy. Don't choke. Don't let her infect you with a fashion bug. <gasps> wow, this is cool. It really looks expensive, you know. Well, it is. Um, this one is nineteen thousand. And this nineteen one is... what? Are you kidding me? <gasps> Earning fifteen thousand naira a month. Well, anyway, that was before I resigned last week. <laughs> You're serious? Mm -hmm. 15000 a month? How on earth do you get by with that kind of money? I managed. Not everyone was born with a silver spoon, you know. Well, I guess you're right. But it doesn't really matter what kind of spoon you're born with. Mm. It's, it's what you do with the spoon at the end of the day. Well, all this will be a thing of the past since we both know my brother is loaded. Not only is he loaded, he knows how to dish up money to women. Though when it comes to me, it's a little bit stingy, but I have my way. I know how to obtain. So if he withholds anything from you, how are me? I'll teach you my trick. Chacha, I'm not interested in collecting money from men. You are not? Look, 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 don't even try that good girl business with Gregor. I mean, men are meant to spend money on women. It is our God-given right. That's the way God intended it to be. So don't even try to change the status quo. With this, your women liberation nonsense. Men are supposed to give mm. and give and even give more. And we're meant to collect and collect and demand more. <laughs> cha cha, please. I'm serious, sir. Well, I am not saying we should be overly materialistic. No. But we must not let men get away with tight handedness. Mm. My brother must really love you. Because before now, all he ever came home with were people who thought class and money was everything. But you. You are real. Fresh in area. And I think that's the most important thing. Oh, God. Thank you very much, Cha Cha. But, you know, you too, you're very real. I mean, though your ideas are quite crazy, but girl, you're very real. Thank you. And if you need to know anything, anything at all, do not hesitate to ask. If you want to know anything about this family, <laughs> I'm your girl. <laughs> uh, oh God, I need to leave this house fast. I'm so ashamed of myself. Viv? 
Oh, hi, Mom. Yeah, she is? Oh, I've been trying to call her for ages. I can't seem to get her phone. Yeah, it was okay. She cooked? But she says she hates cooking. I mean, she's not much of a cook, according to her. Ah, she cooks very well. Probably she was trying to sound modest. Anyway, I'm glad you like her, Mom. Uh, can, I, can I talk to her? I mean, I've been trying. I, I can't seem to get through to her, so I'll... Oh, sure. Why not? Hold on for her. Vivian! Yes, Ma. Yes, Ma. Thanks a lot, Mom. This means a lot to me. Don't mention Greg. I want to see my grandchildren very soon. Oh, she's here for you. Hold up. Greg. She's having stomach problems. She just rushed to the loo. Probably she ate something, I don't know. Oh. Okay. Alright, um, just tell her I'll call later. Okay, later. Bye. Vivian! Are you okay, dear? I think you had something. Oh. Sorry, how do you feel now? Wait, you were about to tell me something before one called. Now let's go back inside. Oh, what's in here? You're crying. Mom, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am, I have offended you terribly, Mommy. Please forgive me. Tell me, tell me, I'm sorry, I'm not who you think I am. Please forgive me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know, I don't know what led me into what I did, but this was just carried away by the, the whole coincidence. Of me, me, I'm the off of a fit being right. Took over me. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> oh God, this is not happening. This is not really happening. Mom, it's, it's just like in the movies. Same name, same address. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. You better laugh all you can now because your brother is going to kill you for this. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I wish there was something I could do to change this. Please forgive me, mommy, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could. It's okay, it's okay. But I guess you have to stay for the party. The harm has already been done. I guess you have to stay for the party. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we will call him and explain everything to him. Charlie, I think you should call your brother. Says you were the one that went to the wrong address. Oh my God. Craig is going to skin me alive. <laughs> Mom, please. You have, to, you have to help me call him. Tell him it was a mistake. Why would it be a mistake, Charlie? When all you think about is nothing but clothes, you are in this alone. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Don't look gloomy. Just wait and stay for the party, okay? <laughs> I don't deserve any kind words from you, man. I'm in a fraud and a liar. I'm so ashamed of my actions. Thank you very much, 
you know, it's, it's not easy to find a family with so much affluence. Look at a common girl like me and you still want to be nice to her. I feel so honored knowing this family. I have accepted too much already. I can't accept anything again. I'm very sorry, Mama, but I, I can't stay for that party. Please. I'm scared of what your son will see if he comes back and fights me here. Don't worry. Viv, I will take responsibility for everything. Okay? Shalina, I, I appreciate it, but, but I have to go. Well, it's okay. It's okay. If you insist, you already have my number. If you need anything, call me. But in case you change your mind, the door is open for you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm tired of making calls. The person that has Greg's number, I don't even have the person's number. This is just great. Perfect! Awesome! Please, Vivian, stop shouting. We're trying to watch a program here, but you're distracting us. It's really interesting. You piece of rat. You don't have any feelings at all. I just lost my phone to some biker thieves. My boyfriend's sister and mother obviously forgot me here in Abuja. My boyfriend Greg doesn't even care how or where I am. And I can't reach him because I don't have his number anymore. I can't even go to Lagos because I don't have his address. I mean, how fake can a day get? God, isn't this a worst situation anyone can find herself in? Jesus Christ, this is like a nightmare. What am I going to do now? Firstly, I'm not a rat. Secondly, you don't have to go to Lagos if you can't go. You are so stupid. You know that? Mm. I shouldn't attend the party his company is having in his honor. One whole week with him alone. He's going to propose to me for Christ's sake and you're suggesting that I don't go? I mean, I've been teaching people for this for ages. Please, 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 please. One more word from you, Sharon, and Dad will not recognize you when he gets back. Sorry, Your Majesty. And if you have any problems at your uncle's, promise you call me. I promise I'll call you. It would be so nice to you. I'm so sorry for the deception. Don't swear to God. I mean, if not that my brother will have my head, I would have been having a good laugh. I feel so bad that I'm going to cause a problem for you and your brother. Don't worry about it. I mean, seriously, this is my own thing, you know? <laughs> Serious adventure and all that. But don't worry, we'll sort it out, okay? Thank you. Um, lucky face too.
Why you don't listen properly when you're being given an instruction? It's obvious your brother must have said Abuba Kalim, but you heard Abuba Street. Chacha, you must pray over that thing that makes you hear differently. Mom, please. Please don't even start your drama. Mom, what should I do? Should I call Greg? Of course you should call Greg. So that by the time he gets here tomorrow morning, he must have calmed down. Isn't it strange? What? That Greg hasn't called Vivian. I mean the real Vivian. Because if he had, he would have realized that we didn't pick her up. He kept complaining that he couldn't reach her. Probably her battery is out or something. So why didn't she call him knowing we were supposed to pick her up this morning? Chacha, that I don't know. I don't just know. Your brother, Greg, Charles. Hmm. Hello, Charles. You shouldn't wait the, this long before calling your mom. Is that what is in vogue in America? I know, but I told you to come back to Nigeria. At least you can help your brother with your father's business. not he won't are you not his brother all right there okay my son okay okay but promise me you'll call me once you're done okay bye my love Charles said hello did he now and he didn't even bother to speak to me. He seemed to be in a hurry. Not to worry, he will call back. All right now. Let me go and pray. Just knock down. Pray on my own. 
to my God that Greg doesn't kill me when he gets sick. I'm looking for my uncle. This is the address they gave to me and it's the same address on the wall, so I'm sure I'm at the right place. Yes, of course it is. But it's obvious you don't know what you're doing, so I will help you. She be in a style you they look for. Uh-huh, that, that's my uncle. The man was arrested a week ago with two human heads in the boot of his car. So when police came here to check, they found buried bodies behind this compound. Oh no, that can't be possible. That's not true. That can be happening. It, 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 it's a lie. Eh, you know what will be true, right? Okay, let me tell you something. If you love your life, you can better just come out from this place now, 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 now. Because that man is already in jail and he's not coming out in a hurry. There is nobody in this compound. Even the gate man was also arrested. So, better live here like you love yourself. Where, where, where will I go to now, eh? Where will I go to? I don't have any money in my bag. Eh, you don't have money in your bag, eh? First thing they tell you something, they talk, say you don't get money for your bag. Okay, make you sit down here. Sit down, me and the worker go to my house now. Very soon, police go come here. No, 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 and they go arrest you. Make you sit down here, they talk. What kind of bad luck is this? Now I don't have any money in my pocket. Where, where will I go to? Huh? Hey. But we know you and what you are doing here. You're from the area police station, Nikita. Who are you? I, 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 I was just passing here. You are passing. You are passing. Yes, Get her arrested. No, um, please, no, I, I was just passing. Let's go. <laughs> It's okay, we are coming there. Which of the police stations? Okay, I'll be there in a moment. All right, bye-bye. What? Vivian has been arrested. Why? What for? That's what I want to find out. Let me, let me, let me try. What's it going I'll tell you. Get me, yes, but my phone is stolen and probably switched off. But what I'm wondering is, why has he called my land phone? I'm sure by now he will certainly have noticed that I'm not in Lagos. Are you sure he really wanted you to come? What kind of stupid talk is that? Of course he wanted me to come. I'm his girlfriend for crying out loud. I know, but maybe he changed his mind. Oh, I mean. The family obviously should be in Lagos right now, and he would have noticed that you didn't join them. I don't know what to say. Did you have a fight with him before you left Abuja? Of course not. You see, Greg wanted me to meet his mother and his sister, okay? Everything was so perfect. Right about now, if you ask me, I really don't want to meet them anymore. And why is that? Why? Yeah, why? Because they're dimwits! I'm sorry to say. Come on, Vivian. That's such a terrible thing to say about your future in-laws. I mean, for all you care, they could be stranded here in Abuja as well. She doesn't even have your number to call you. Well, at least you should have Greg's number, don't you think? Just give them a break, okay? Please. Greg wants to propose to me. You know, possibly at a party. You see, if I miss that party, I'm going to be totally pissed at the whole family. They better have a damn good explanation to give to me. 
Because I can understand why I can't attend the party for crying out loud. Just calm down, Vivian. Okay? I will, I will probably win. Maybe whatever. What? what is this word? I can't bother us. This is very shocking. To think you were going to live with him. It's a very shocking thought. So, you're going back to Abuja now? Yes, ma'am. I don't have a choice. I'll have to leave with the first um, bus tomorrow morning. No. I don't think you should do that. Now that your uncle is out of the question, why don't you relax and um, attend the party with us tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Then we go back to Abuja together. Don't worry, I'll get you a ticket. Yes, Viv. I mean, it all looks like as if we were meant to be at this party. I'm sorry, Ma, but I can't. I mean, Greg... We understand. My dear, Try and unwind after all you've been through, okay? Don't worry about it. Mom will handle you. Is she not his mother? She'll take care of you. Go and get her something to eat. Go and cook. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what I've done to deserve this kind of kindness. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Hello, people. Hey, Cha Cha. How are you doing? How's Vivia? Is she okay? She's fine. All right. Um, uh, let me talk to her. I've been trying her for ages. I can't get through her since morning. Mm. You can't talk to her right now. Why? Come, Cha Cha. Are you sure everything is okay? Every time I call, you can find some excuse or the other for me not to talk to her. Yes, actually, she's in the bathroom. Tell her to call me back immediately. I need to talk with her. Oh, and tell her, I'll be in town tomorrow morning. Okay. But tell her to call me immediately. Don't forget. Will do. How's mom? She's fine. You think she likes me, yeah? The light. Is an understatement. She adores her. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't worry. Mom will explain everything to me once you get there tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Don't be. My brother is a sweetheart. I'm sure he will like you. Like me, girl? I doubt that very much. You think I defrauded the family, which is actually what I did. You know, so that is why things are so rough for me now. Really, you don't be hard on yourself, okay?
from you I'm sorry. You, you don't know me. Oh great! So nice to see you myself. Oh how is your trip? It was fine, Mom. Oh uh, Mom, who's this? <sighs> and where's Vivienne? What has she come here? Is she inside? Oh um, Chacha. Could you tell your friend here to practice her whatever exercise she's doing? Anywhere else but my sitting room, okay? Absolutely. Uh, actually, Vivian is not here. What? Uh, what's, what's this? Did she came and you didn't like her so she left? What hmm? No. Actually, Greg, what mom is trying to say is that um, we didn't see Vivian. You won't believe what happened. I mean, some foolish people went to streets the same way. What are you trying to tell me? It's a long story, and it's all my fault. I went to the wrong address. So, um, Greg, at number thirty-four Abubakar Street, there were two Vivians. I said. Abubakar Road, not Street. <laughs> They're very, very different places. You see, that's the mistake. I went to the wrong address, so I got the wrong video. You are so cheap, I can't believe it! You had to degrade yourself just to get a free ticket? Okay, you're now in my house. What do you want again? Free lodging? Greg, please. Don't talk to her like that. Give her time to at least exit. She is a tramp! Greg! A cheap, low-down, dirty, lying bitch! Haven't I warned you not to use such language? You don't even know what this girl has gone through. And it's not her fault. I mean... She... And you shut up, Charlene. Not one word from you. Because it's obvious you can't do anything right. I'm so sorry, please. Don't blame your sister. Everything is my fault. Damn right it is. <laughs> and what are those tears for? Part of your calculated attempt to come into my house and take advantage of my mother? Are you, Mom? <laughs> I'm surprised at you. How could you? I mean, how could you fall for such an obvious trick? I never, I, you never used to be this gullible. Greg, why don't you calm down and listen to the explanation? I want you out of my house this minute. You understand me? who is a palm reader told her that she's hold, hold, hold on sorry what what exactly did that mean i mean how is that connected to what you're talking about let me finish now greg her uncle who is a palm you reader you mean the great esteemed palm reader don't be sarcastic this is for real her uncle told her that she's going to get a chance of traveling to Lagos free. Apparently, the chance came with your sister's unfortunate mistake. She took it. Might not be a very wise thing to have done, but brave if you ask me. So let me get this clearly. This great palm reading uncle of hers asked her to come to my own house. Hmm? No, 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 no. I mean, tell me. I mean, this is really, really getting interesting. I mean, palm reading seems to be such an interesting phenomenon, so much so that you have become such a good and strong disciple that I think maybe you should educate me some. 
Greg, I will not enter into any war of words with you. Neither are you going to draw me into any unnecessary debates. All I'm asking you to do is to please take it easy with her. Mom, really, I don't understand you. Why are you defending this girl? Because she's a wonderful girl if you get to know her. Are you trying to connect me with a 419 girl? Craig. No, that's what it looks like. I mean, you haven't even met Vivian. My Vivian. She's beautiful, she's wonderful. And I am going to marry her. Now, what I don't feel comfortable with is a stranger lurking around my house trying to complicate issues for me. She is not complicating anything. Okay, if you don't want her to stay, fine, no problem. But can she at least attend the, the party and go on <laughs> Sunday? No. I say no, no, and no again. But what's wrong with you, mother? The girl is an imposter. Can't you see that? There is no flipping way I am going to let some stranger lurk around my house that I don't know anything about. There's no way I'm going to let her stay. My decision is final. I will not do it. Why do you let him talk to you like that and run you off the house by this time? No man has the right to talk to any lady that way. For God's sake, what have you done that is so bad? One thing you're forgetting is that this is your brother's house. He has the right to run off anyone he wants, anytime he pleases. Besides, it's all my fault. The mom and I, we don't want you to go. Okay. Where do you want to go? Do you know anyone else in Lagos? Anywhere else but here. Look, girl, I have to go. Please. Wait. He's my brother, and I love him. But he has no right whatsoever to run you off the house by this time of the night. Listen, I am an impostor. Don't you get it? Let me just call Tatcha, please. Okay, mom, you win. <sighs> yes, she can stay. But only because I know if I don't give in to you, I'll never leave this down. She can stay till Sunday. Thank you very much, Craig. I knew you would not disappoint your mom. Thank you. There is some. Um, there's this thing about this girl that really touches me. First thing Sunday morning. No problem. Can I fix you something to eat? Ah, please. Okay. Uh, Mom? Yes, sir. Why can't I get in touch with uh, Vivienne? I, I, I can't seem to reach her. Well, um, probably she's still upset of not being picked up. Might have switched off her phone. Let me get you something to eat. Was her friend holding her when? Is it her friend or what? Um, Vivian, I changed my mind. You can stay. You can drop your things back. Thank you, Greg. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. I just said you could stay. And I said you were full of crap! What do you think you are? God? You think you can move people like a pawn on a chase board? You can't stay. You can't stay. Well, I am not staying, even when I don't know where I'm going to. I've had enough of your insults, and I don't think I need any more of it. It's such a shame that you have such a sweet family, yet you did not inherit a bit of that niceness. 
You can stay in your big fine house. But I'm not staying. I'd rather sleep under the bridge. Rubbish. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. I am, I am the one who's right here. You're the one who's wrong. You can't blame me for my own reaction. I mean, you, you brought it on yourself. Viv, are you sure you don't want to stay? I mean, he said you could. I can't stay, Chacha. I mean, I can't stand any man talking to me like that. I know I was wrong. But, I mean, the way he talked to me. Anyway, Chacha, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Don't mind my brother, okay? He doesn't know how to control his temper. And he isn't that bad. Yeah. I think he thinks you're sexy and he's probably pissed at himself for thinking that. Let him keep his thoughts to himself. Look, I can never fall for a man like that. Never say never. Oh, I say this with all confidence. I know he's your brother, but I can never fall for him. Please come back into the house. Chacha, could you excuse us for a minute, please? Okay. Vivian, just come back into the house. I'm sorry if I said anything to hurt you. But it's very late at night. My mom for will not forgive me if anything happened to you. I'm not in the habit of begging, but I'll make an exception this time. I am sorry. Okay? You can't stay out at this time of the night. It's dangerous. What do you care? After all, you don't know me. Oh, just a second, you do. I am a cheap tramp and a low-down, dirty liar. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I, I was upset. I mean, what? here I am expecting to see my girlfriend in my house and I come in and I see a stranger who's wrangled her way into my house. No, you, you, what would you have done if you were in my place? I'm not usually this rude. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry for everything I said. Please, just come back in. Okay. I'll come. Not because I want to, but because right now I don't have anywhere else to go to. And I'm not a foolish. Tomorrow morning, I will leave. That's all I ask. Please, anything you say, just come back in. I'll take, I'll get the back, don't worry.
I don't believe you still want to drink tea after that, even me. <laughs> My sister, it's one funny habit I have. I drink tea every night, you know, before going to bed. I think it, it relaxes me. Okay, I'll see you all. Alright, I'll do it in a short minute. not to tremble whenever you come around me. Would that be out of fright or out of something else? Something else like what? Desire, perhaps? <laughs> you wish. But Vivian, you have to admit, this has got to be one of the greatest coincidences ever. I mean, here we have Vivian, at number 434 Abubakar Street, streets and Vivienne at number 34 Abubakar Road both traveling to Lagos on the same day well it happens he said something that jokes me back then I always thought I was a gentleman until I met you and I never knew I was a chip girl until I met you Hey, I said I was sorry. What's your problem? Well, I'm sorry to you, Greg. I don't know what got it on me. Yeah, and the one who's wrong here, I don't have any reason to be angry. Yeah. I think there's just something about you that gets my hackles rising. Yeah, no, it's my irresistible charm, I guess. Don't worry, I have that effect on women. <laughs> oh my god, you are arrogance personified. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, arrogant Mr. Universe. I am certainly one girl standing. Because I'm highly immune to your perceived charms. One more thing. Don't go committing suicide because one girl has found you unattractive. <laughs> you know, looking at you, your face looks so innocent. I would never suspect what a sharp tongue you have. Uh, by the way, have you heard from Vivian? You know, you have lots to explain to her. Yeah, I know. I've, I've tried um, calling her phone, but I switched off. It's probably pissed off on me by now. Yeah, she ought to be. Um, she don't know her friends, like, you know, her relations, people you could get in touch with that know, you know, that could get in touch with her for you. <sighs> you know what? The truth is, we haven't really gone out for very long. I mean, she doesn't know my circle of friends now. I don't I don't know hers. Oh. Well anyway, um I'm sending a friend of mine over to her place. I'm trying to reach him. I can't get him. But I just want to, him to go over to her house and make sure everything's okay. I really feel bad that I'm the cause of all these problems. I had to be a clock at the wheel of progress for people. Well, I wish that someday, somehow, somewhere, I could, you know, I could pay you back for all what you've been through. Good night. You scared me. What are you doing here? I live here. I know, but I mean, 
<laughs> what are you doing? Spying on you? No. I've not been standing here for long. What are you doing up so early? Well, I'm an early riser. Hmm, me too. Mm. I also have this habit of, you know, drinking water as soon as I wake. Hmm, seems to have a lot of habits around here. First, tea before you go to bed and water early in the morning. Interesting. Keep it up. It's a nice habit. <coughs> Are you okay? Um, yes. Have you, have you heard from Vivian lately? What's with you and Vivian? I mean, are you, we on a guilt trip here? Maybe. I want to see both of you reunite again. It will make me happy if, if you do. Will it? Mm-hmm. Are you just saying that, or do you really mean that? Are you just trying to impress me with your pretense? Look, Greg, it's very early in the morning for this drama. I guess you meet me later in the day. I'll be up to you by then. But now I'm still feeling sleepy. <laughs> you know, you're a very intriguing woman. Under different circumstances, I would have enjoyed the prospect of chasing and capturing you. <laughs> You're assuming that I want to be chased and captured, right? I'm glad for that circumstance, which has prevented you from going on a wild goose chase. Because that's exactly what it would be. And it would, you know, achieve nothing for you. I love this woman. You do have a great sense of humor. I'm sure you? Vivian has lots more of that. Why do you keep bringing her into this? Because naturally she is part of you. Oh, isn't she? Is she? Well, if it will make you feel any better, I have sent someone to her house. And hopefully we should be hearing from her soonest. Wow, that's great. Then... I mean, I'm happy. At least you won't go forgetting her, if that's all you've been trying to do. must be really dumb. I lost my phone and I didn't have your number by heart until Jack came here just now. Well, I, I hope I can catch the last flight to Lagos. I love you. Yeah. And you had better be there to pick me up at the airport. Okay then. Alright. Bye. <laughs> Well, it's obvious you ladies are not ready yet, so I will be off. See ya. Will do. We'll use the other car. Sure. Um, Chacha, you drive. I have no stunts this time. I just bought that car recently. Okay. And Vivian, I hope to see you there as well. I hope so, too. Good. So ladies, Please, don't be late. It's not an all-night party. Oh, okay. Bye. Um, has he been able to get in touch with Vivian? Um, yes, he said he called to explain everything to her. But um, she's really very upset. Uh, from what he said, she will be coming to Lagos today with the last flight. He will pick her up at the airport. She can always change at the venue of the party. And you are not allowed to change your mind about the party. Just in case you're considering it. <laughs> Even if I was considering it, I know you wouldn't let me. So I'll come. Good. <laughs> I 
Thanks. But it doesn't go with my concept for tonight. I'd rather you wear the sunglasses that will show a little bit of shoulder, you know? This and that. And it will go with the shoe. Wow, this is it nice. Because, girl, I want all heads to turn in our direction when we're walking. Wow, I think this will go with the good accessories I'm wearing. And then it goes with the shoe. Yeah, okay. So that means I'm not going to wear the red again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Mr. Dan Flat. I'm so mad right now. God, I could strangle someone. Well, not me, I hope. I don't know the pilot, do I? Shut up, Sharon. Shut up. Listen, I am not in the mood for your nonsense tonight. And really, if you step out of line, I will definitely strangle you. Because I'm so pissed. And I will not hesitate to take it out on anyone who dare crosses my path. Point taken. I shall endeavor to stay from your way. Um, why don't you call Greg and see if he can send a private jet to come and pick you up? Greg will answer his phone and I'll try- What was that you just said? I said, call Greg and ask him to send a private jet to come and pick you up. Seeing as going to Lagos is such a do or die affair for you now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. For some of us who are still single and searching, <clears throat> is your last chance. It's dancing time. But in usual tradition, the CEO opens the floor with his lady. So, Mr. Greg Mayono, the dance floor is all yours. I don't think there's anything to chat about. On the contrary, I think there's a lot to talk about. Our feelings, for one. <laughs> what feelings? Oh, look, I think it's the alcohol that, you know, is clouding Vivian, our senses. You know I am as sober as can be. And so are you. I mean, I notice you do not have any alcohol to drink throughout the party. The truth is, I have fallen for you, in a big way. And I have the mutual feeling that the feeling is very mutual. Am I wrong? No. Damn. This is a lot more complicated than I thought. Oh, yes, it is. Look, I'll just leave first thing tomorrow morning. I don't want you to leave. Oh, it's not about what you want or what you don't want. It's about doing the right thing. I wish I knew what to do. Well, if you don't, I do. I'll leave tomorrow morning and you'll forget you ever met me. And you think, you think things are that easy? 
Greg, God, I don't understand you, man. You have a girlfriend you claim you like so much. How could you possibly be attracted to me? I don't know, but I'm not going to pretend I do. All I know is that I want you so badly right now. Oh. Now, all I know is that I refuse to be a statistic in your file of conquest. Somehow, I doubt that very much. Whatever, let me just go. Great. Stop it. Don't. Look, um, Greg, another time, another place, but certainly not now and here. Just go back to Vivian and, you know, forget this whole thing happened. Please excuse me. to one of my friends concerning the job. There won't be any problem. Oh, thank you very much, man. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You know, I really feel blessed meeting people like you. Ah, Ma, I really, really appreciate you. And we do appreciate you. Ah, ladies, can we get a move on? We'll miss your flight if we don't get moving now. Oh, all right. Um, I'll call you when I get to Abuja. Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a beautiful trip, okay? Bless you too. Bless you too. I thought you said you were coming in by the house of Yeah. I decided to come in earlier because I'm eager to find out exactly what is going on. You are not answering my calls and you're not even calling me either. Nothing is going on, sweetheart. I mean, I did tell you over the phone, but I thought we got to pass that by now. Well. I thought about it. And the more I thought about it, the more convinced I am that some hanky, panky business is going on and I'm going to find out what it is. Greg, you're acting strange and I don't like it. Well, um, young, young woman, don't you think it's right for you to at least say hello to the people you meet when you enter a house? Hello? Like I was saying, Greg, I am not comfortable with what is going on. I hate being kept in the dust. Please, will you at least say hello to my mother here before we go any further? Oh, is this your mother? Yes. This is my mother, and that's my kid sister, Charlene. Hello, mother. Hi, Charlene. And who the heck is this? Oh, um, this is, this is, uh, Vivian, the lady a family mistook for you. This dress? What, what is she doing around here? I thought she would have gone back to the gates by now. Vivian, this is neither the time nor the place. I am very upset with you, Greg. Extremely upset. How dare you talk about like shit? I mean, how can I talk about like shit? Vivian, Vivian, please. 
Won't you please leave you and me? It is all your fault. You caused all of this. How can you have such a small brain considering your size? You watch what you say to me, girl. Or you will lose that nasty tongue of yours. I may not be as patient as God. Well, uh, you are just coming in from a journey. Why don't you just sit down and calm down? Uh, well, um, I'll, I'll have to leave now. Um, thank you, everybody. Uh, um, Vivian, just hold on a minute. I'll, I'll drop you off, okay? What? You were doing no such thing, Greg. Vivian, I'm just... No, sir. Let me have the car, please. I'll put it out. It's over. What? You were going to take it to the airport? No, he wasn't. Shut up! I wasn't addressing you. You speak only when you've been addressed. Oh, um... I'm sincerely... I sincerely apologize. <laughs> There's nothing going on between Vivian and Di. She's actually a very nice girl. What's so nice about someone that will take everyone on such a ride? Yeah, that's unfortunate. But really, she is okay. Why are you defending her so hard? Can't you see she's a gold digger? Okay, there was a mistake. But why is she hanging around to Sunday? Did she attend the party? Um, well, Mom did say she could stay up and... Your mom? <laughs> Great. What exactly was your mom trying to prove? Oh, Greg. Something is definitely going on. Look, no, I can feel it. Vivian, there's nothing. Will you just drop it? Okay, just drop it. I think you're taking this too far. The girl has gone. Does, doesn't that satisfy you? No, it doesn't. Okay? Something is going on. Vivian, come on. There's... Kiss me. What? I said kiss me. I mean, normally you would have done that, but I've been here for over an hour and you haven't kissed me yet. Well, if you'd given me half the chance, I would have. Is that all? Well, not until you go out there and apologize to my mother. Because at the moment she's not very impressed with the way you've behaved out there. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. I was, I mean, I was, I was upset, that's all. It's only natural, okay? I'll go and say hello to her. Probably. Up to sun, something's going on that I cannot keep my cool. Oh, the tears in my eyes, and I hope I wouldn't go blind. I must be in a trance, floating in the wind. Wake me up from the sleep. I think it must be but a dream. I can't explain it, confusing as it seems. It's the chance. Is it wise? Will it kill my innocence? Life's a journey and life is only one All the table turns, chips are down, cards are rearranged I'm a stranger on the path of love Some symbols make some noise, this is but my fate Circumstances, you bring me true love You are. Yeah, sure. Only. 
let anything that stupid Vivian said to get to you. She will never be accepted into my family. Never. Imagine the silly thing calling me fat. She was so lucky that I was in one of my good moods today. Otherwise, I would have used this my body to crush her. Silly thing. You won't marry my brother. <laughs> Till hell freezes over. Don't talk like that. Look, if your brother loves her, and besides, if he says he's going to marry her, there's little or nothing you can do to stop her. I really don't think she's done to that harshly, you know? Considering the fact that the whole situation is enough to get her really, really upset. There is no excuse for what she displayed at her today. In front of my mother. I mean, in my mother's presence. I mean, look, Vivian, any woman who doesn't have respect for her man's family is a very dangerous woman. We will have to do everything possible to help the situation before my brother makes the mistake of marrying her. Gosh, I can't even think about that. I mean, it will be a total disaster. God forbid. You like him, don't you? I like who? Viv is me. You like my brother, don't you? Oh, thanks. Anyway, I think he likes you too. Yes, I mean, it's obvious. It's pretty obvious, he does. Don't worry. Leave it all for charge. I am going to personally skin that idiot off. Oh my God. Trust me. Chacha, when will you start making other people's business yours? Sweetheart, my brother's business is my business. Start, okay. I mean, that girl almost ruined everything. Quite an imposter she is. I'm really, really sorry for my outburst, you know. I just couldn't help it, okay? Anyway, nice meeting you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. about yourself oh isn't that so sweet i'm beginning to feel like a daughter-in-law already daughter-in-law mm -hmm. has greg proposed to you already oh no 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 not yet you know, you know see between both of us i think he's going to you know well he was gonna do that at a party but look at her i missed it <laughs> just because of that two-faced bitch oh god I wish I could just kill her, you know. What the hell is she? Uh, let us stop the, the name calling for now. Swearing is quite unladylike, don't you think so? Yeah, I'm really sorry. Very sorry. Well, um, what I'll be myself, yeah. Let's see, um, where do I start? Where do I start from? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I have a master's degree from the University of Michigan. My father is Chief Okafor, I mean, you know, the Minister of Agriculture. <laughs> my uncle, Inanna, is the Governor of Central Bank. Well, my auntie is the personal assistant to the First Lady, so I practically live in Asarok. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I spend so little time as I can in Nigeria, you know. Spending so much time in this country freaks me out. I love Scotland. My father has a house there, you know, and sometimes we all go in there for holidays when it gets so hot in here. <sighs> but believe me, if you ask me, Hawaii is the best place to be. Trust me. By the way, I'm 26 years old and I already have a master degree. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> oh God, is there anything else you want to know about me? 
no, no for now. Oh. You see, I think we're gonna be close, you know. Yeah. And um, I can feel it in my bones, you know. Besides, it's always good for the daughter-in-law to get closer to the mother-in-law right now, you know. <laughs> Sorry, did you cook something? Excuse me? Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll go and check. I don't like that look on your face. You don't like her, do you? Greg, there is no way you can end up with a girl like that. That girl is not mannered. She is so shallow. She's not cultured, not even one bit. Where did you meet her? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm kind of surprised as well at her character's traits. But she's really sweet. I mean, you just need to get to know her a little better and you know how sweet she is. Sweet? Greg, sweet is not good enough for me. I cannot tell you who to marry. But sometimes accidents do happen for a reason. What are you talking about, Mom? I'm talking about Vivian and you know it. <laughs> 